Hello everyone, my name is Carl. Welcome to the Porter's How To Series. Today I'm going to be demonstrating milk paint. Milk paint is a beautiful paint. It's an organic paint. It comes in a powder. I mix it up with water. I'm going to brush it on, sand it. I'm going to be using a couple of different colours, waxing it. It just looks fantastic, especially on an old piece of furniture like this. I've stripped everything back so there's nothing on it. There was some varnish on there. I got rid of everything. It's just raw timber. I've taken all the handles off, all the screws out. There aren't too many knots, so I'm not going to get too much tannin coming through and staining it, which I like anyway. And it takes this old piece of furniture and just gives it a completely different character. It looks fantastic. So, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to need some milk paint, obviously. I've measured this out. I've got 500 grams. It's a little bit look like uh, cooking. So if you're any good at cooking, you're going to be really good at mixing milk paint. Into my mixing bowl. It's roughly two to one two parts of milk paint to one part of water. So I've got 250 millilitres of water that I'm going to mix in there. And I'm going to stir it for about three to four minutes. Once it's stirred and mixed through, it should have the consistency of pancake batter. Okay? Then I leave it for about five, ten minutes to thicken. I'm going to sieve it and get rid of all the lumps. And I'll be brushing it on, nice long brush strokes onto my piece of furniture. Letting it dry, giving it a light sand, I'll leave it for 12 hours, I'll put on a second coat, I'll be using a different colour so that we get a nice contrast between the two. Leave it for 12 hours, giving it a sand, giving it a distressed look so I get two colours coming through, maybe even a little bit of timber as well. I leave it for three days, I put a wax over the top of it and buff it, it looks fantastic. But today I'm just going to be mixing up my milk paint. I've let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes so it's thickened. So now I've got the right consistency, it's been sitting there for long enough. I'm just going to pour it through a sieve because it does have a few lumps in it and you don't want the lumps on your piece of furniture. So what I've done here is I've got some muslin, put an elastic band around it. Um, you can use stockings, you can use a sieve, but the finer the, the grade, the, the more lumps you're going to get out. And just really simple, just pour your paint, yes this is paint, just pour it through the muslin, get rid of all those lumps and we're going to have a perfect piece of furniture painted very soon in milk paint. It's going to have a very soft, organic, chalky look to it. Okay, so I've poured my milk paint through the sieve. I've got rid of all these lumps, so I'll just get rid of this muslin. Uh, my mixing bowl is just going to mix, uh, wash up in water. It's all a water-based product, really easy to use, very clean um, and very simple. Okay, so I've got my milk paint, I've got my brush, I'm going to pop out one of these drawers. It's just a matter of brushing on one coat of milk paint over the surface. Uh, it's, it's bare timber, so it's going to hold onto it beautifully. I'm going to let it dry, put a second coat over, sand it so it gives it a nice distressed look, then wax it. It's going to look fantastic. Milk paint, it's a little bit unusual to paint with when you first use it. It's a little bit like painting with glue, but you get used to it pretty quickly, and it's so simple. Okay. I've put on my first coat of milk paint and I've left it for 12 hours to make sure it's completely dry. I'm going to give this piece of furniture a distressed look, which means I'm going to put on a second coat, but I'm going to use a different colour. And this colour that I'm using for the second coat is called Oyster White, which is an antique white. I've already measured it out, so I'm just putting in 500 grams for this particular piece of furniture. I just like the first coat. I'm just adding 250 mils of water. I'm going to mix that together for about three or four minutes and then I'll let it sit for about five to ten minutes so it thickens. Before I put that on, I'm just going to give this first coat of milk paint just a really light sand, just with my fingertips, just to take the edge off. I'll do that over the whole piece of furniture. I'll dust it off, just blow away the dust, wipe away any excess, brush on my second coat of milk paint. I'm going to let that dry completely for about 12 hours, sand it till I get the distressed look I like. Leave it for three days, wax it, buff it, it's going to look amazing. So now just mixing up the milk paint as I did with the first coat, exactly the same, really simple. And let it sit for about five minutes, sieve it, get all the lumps out and then off we go. So I've already got the yellow down there, the citrus, I'm just going to paint the oyster white over the top of it, let it dry and sand through it and give it a really beautiful distress look. Okay. So I've let the second coat of milk paint dry for 12 hours. So I've got the uh, antique white over the top, which is called oyster white, over the top of the yellow, which is citrus. Waited 12 hours for the final coat to dry, and now I'm sanding it. 
And what I'm trying to do, and what I will do, is I'm going to sand through the white, I'm going to expose a little bit of the citrus, the yellow, and hopefully I get a little bit of the timber coming through too, because remember I sanded off everything so it was just raw timber in here. And then once I've got it to the way that I like it, and the way it, it looks really aged and uh, distressed, I'm going to work some wax into the surface. I can use steel wool to do that, or I can use some muslin. Uh, steel wool will burnish it. And I'm just going to be using the regular beeswax. I've got all sorts of waxes. I've got uh, a black wax, I've got a titanium wax, I've got one called a stucco wax, which you can tint and put some colour into it. But just for today, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use regular beeswax. Once I've got it to the way I like it to, um, looking, work the wax in, wipe off the excess, and buff it with some muslin. See you in a minute. Okay, I've put two coats of milk paint over the top of my piece of furniture. I've waited 12 hours for the final coat to dry. I've got some sandpaper and I've sanded through it. It's very soft and chalky at this point in time, so it's really easy to distress it. You have control over how you want it to look. I've been a little bit subtle here, I haven't been crazy with it, and I'm just on the edges. I've just brought out the timber underneath it just to give it an authentic aged look. I think it looks great. I've, I'm really happy with that, it's perfect, but now I need to seal it. So think about how you're going to be using this piece of furniture. Are you going to be throwing your car keys on there? Is it going to get a lot of use? If you are going to do that, use the all purpose clear sealer. That has to be brushed on, three to five coats. But for this piece today, I'm going to be using beeswax. Beeswax is an organic product. It's very easy to use, very simple. You just work it into the surface with some muslin, wipe off the excess, and then buff it straight away. I'm just going to put a little bit of wax on my muslin rag. Muslin's great because it doesn't leave bits of cotton behind. You don't want to be picking out bits of cotton. Circular motion, we're just going to wipe it over the top. So it just covers. As you put it on, you can see where it's going. And then what I'm going to do is just wipe off the excess, so I have to buff it. And you buff it straight away. Don't leave it, come back later, because it, it just won't work. The wax goes off. You have to do it straight away. Um, obviously do the whole piece in one go. Don't do it in halves, otherwise you'll get a line coming through there. Circular motion with the muslin. And we're just going to buff it so it gets a nice sheen to it. And as I buff it, and the sheen comes up, you'll see this beautiful colour come through. Draws all the colours out, highlights the timber underneath. Just looks fantastic. So I'm going to do this whole piece and we'll have a look at what it looks like in just a few minutes. Okay, so I got onto Gumtree, I bought myself a cheap piece of timber furniture. I sanded it all back so there was nothing left on there. I got rid of all the varnish and I had raw timber. I brushed on two coats of milk paint. I let it dry completely, I've sanded it and distressed it. I've got little bits of timber coming through, I've got two different colours working together really nicely. I've sealed it with wax and I've buffed it, it looks absolutely beautiful. You can do this with any piece of furniture. Obviously if you don't want to sand it back at the beginning, I've got different primers that'll stick to the surface and then you can use a different system, but just give me a call, I can talk to you about that. Fantastic piece of furniture, fantastic finish, a really unusual paint, you won't find anything else like it on the market. Um, have fun with it. I'll see you next time. Bye.